administration is also acting swiftly to address the illegal immigration crisis on the southern border. Loopholes in our immigration laws, all supported by extremist open border Democrats. And that's what they are. They're extremist open border Democrats. If you look at Nancy Pelosi and you look at Chuck Schumer, you'll see tapes where they wanted to have borders. They needed borders for security. Just a short while ago, a number of years ago, I see Chuck Schumer, we must have borders. Hillary Clinton, we must have borders. If people penetrate our borders, we must get them out of our country. Now, all of a sudden, they're big open border people. It's a whole big con job. In the meantime, people are suffering because of the Democrats. So uh, we've created, and they've created, and they've let it happen, a massive child smuggling industry. It's exactly what it's become. Traffickers, if you think about this, human traffickers are making a fortune. It's a disgrace. These loopholes force the release of alien families and minors into the country when they illegally cross the border. Since 2014 alone, nearly 200,000 unaccompanied alien minors have been released into the United States as a result of Democrat-backed loopholes, including catch and release, which is one of the worst. You catch them, and then you release them. Might as well save your time. Don't bother catching them. And this is what we're stuck with. They're the worst immigration laws in the history of the world. The whole world is laughing at the United States, and they have been for years. These alien miners were separated and sent all the way up here alone. But they really came up with coyotes. You know what a coyote is? Not good. These are not good people. They were set up here with human traffickers because the Democrat-supported policies have allowed this to happen. Democrats also refuse to fund the personnel, the bed space, the resources that we need to house the miners. Now, they want us to take care of the miners, and that's fine. But they don't want to give us the money to take care of them. Because the worse everything looks, they think the better they're going to do with respect to the blue wave, which is turning out, frankly, to be a red wave if you look at the polls. I think we're going to have a red wave, not a blue wave. So they want us to take care of bed space and resources and personnel and take everybody and, you know, like, let's run uh, the most luxurious hotel in the world for everybody. But they don't want to give us the money. So you could ask them about that. We have to house these miners, and we have to house them safely. And, frankly, we have to house them, and we should be taking good care of them, and then we should return them back home. That's what we have to do. But every time we ask for resources, the Democrats say no. They say no to everything. They're obstructionists, because they think that's good politically. I think it's bad politically. For them, I think it's bad politically. We'll see. In addition, Democrat and court-ordered loopholes prevent family detention and lead to family separation, no matter how you cut it. I signed a very good executive order yesterday, but that's only limited, no matter how you cut it it leads to separation, ultimately. I'm directing HHS, DHS, and DOJ to work together to keep illegal immigrant families together during the immigration process and to reunite these previously separated groups. But the only real solution is for Congress to close the catch-and-release loopholes that have fueled the child smuggling industry. The Democrats are causing tremendous damage and destruction and lives by not doing something about this. And they know that. They know that better than anybody up there with a pen. If we don't close these loopholes, there is no amount of money or personnel in the world to address the crisis. A very serious crisis. It's been going on so long. This isn't Trump administration. You look back at uh, 2014, during the Obama administration, they have pictures that were so bad. Uh, they had a judge that said it was inhumane the way they were treating children. Take a look at some of the court rulings against the Obama administration. They talked about inhumane treatment. I read them. I looked at them. They're all over the place. Inhumane treatment. They were treating them terribly. We have a situation where some of these places, they're really running them well. And I give a lot of credit to Secretary Nielsen and all of the people that have worked. It's uh, 
It's the nicest that people have seen. But it's still something that shouldn't be taking place. My wife, our First Lady, is down now at the border because it really bothered her to be looking at this and to seeing it as it bothered me, as it bothered everybody at this table. We're all bothered by it. But we need two to tango. We have 51 votes in the Senate. We need 60, unfortunately, because we have the ridiculous filibuster rule. So we need 60. And I think I'll get four or five or six from senators, frankly, running in states where I won by 25, 30, 40 points with Mike. And I think we'll get six senators. Maybe we'll get seven senators. That still doesn't get us to 60. So there's nothing you can do to get there. And people don't understand that. When we have a majority in the Senate, we have a majority by one, but we need 10 votes. So we need 10, essentially, we need 10 Democrats. Not going to get them. They're told by Schumer and Pelosi, don't do it, because we want to see if we can pick up seats. They don't care about the children. They don't care about the injury. They don't care about the problems. They don't care about anything. All they do is say, obstruct. And let's see how we do, because they have no policies that are any good. They're not good politicians. they got nothing going. All they're good at is obstructing. And they generally stick together. I respect them for that. That's about it. Their policies stink. They're no good. They have no ideas. They have no nothing, the Democrats. All they can do is obstruct and stay together and vote against and make it impossible to take care of children and families and to take care of immigration. We should be able to make an immigration bill that can really solve the problem, not just this. This is one aspect of it. This is one very important but small aspect of it. We should be able to do a bill. I'd invite them to come over to the White House anytime they want. This afternoon would be good. After the Cabinet meeting would be good. They are invited officially. I'll let you do the inviting. Let the press do the inviting. But we have to do something about immigration in this country. For 50 years, and long before that, it was a disaster. But over the last 20, 25 years, it's gotten worse. Every time they write a rule or regulation, it makes it worse, not better. We can solve this problem. We have to hire thousands of judges. No country in the world is hiring judges like that. They hire border people that you can't come into the country. Mexico, by the way, is doing nothing for us. Nothing. They have the strongest immigration laws. They can do whatever they want. They can keep people out of Mexico. They have a 2,000-mile journey up Mexico. They walk through Mexico like it's walking through Central Park. It's ridiculous. Mexico does nothing for us. So then when people say, why are you being so tough with NAFTA? And I am being tough, because we, it's a terrible deal for the United States. Mexico is making $100 billion a year off us and the horrible NAFTA deal. And I am being tough. One of the reasons I'm being tough, because they do nothing for us at the border. They encourage people, frankly, to walk through Mexico and go into the United States because they're drug traffickers, they're human traffickers, they're coyotes. I mean, we're getting some real beauties. Mexico is doing nothing for us except taking our money and sending us drugs. They're doing nothing. They could solve this problem in two minutes. You wouldn't even have to do anything. But they don't do it. They talk a good game, but they don't do it. So we'll see how that all comes out. It'll be very interesting to see.